What's up everybody? This is Phil the Kaiju King from my collection room here in Greater Cincinnati. And in this video I'm doing a review of the Gigantic Series Shin Godzilla Standard Edition from X Plus. I've been wanting to do this video for a while. It's a really great figure. Awesome, awesome figure. Big figure. And uh, we'll get to him sh in a moment. And I just wanted to send a quick thank you to Leslie Chambers for the uh, stream last night. He invited me to. It was really fun. Uh, thank William Fett, John Stanowski, and Jason Welling as well. You guys are all great. Had a good time with you guys. Also, Matt Jacobson. He came in in the second half there of it. And uh, it was a very good, fun time um, for sure. I really enjoyed it, and uh, Leslie, anytime you want me back, I'll sure come back. Of course, uh, you can see behind me, there he is. Big beast, huge monster. <laughs> it's a great uh, movie and everything. Um, also, quickly, I'm wearing my Shin Godzilla hoodie I got yesterday. It says in Japanese. On this sleeve, it says in American, English, Shin Godzilla. And on the back, uh, I think that's the movie poster on the back. It's a pretty cool hoodie I got, picked up yesterday. So I thought I would wear it. I was wearing it last night during the stream, but I thought I would wear it today because it's Shin Godzilla. And uh, I'll bring the big beast forth. Uh, let's do that right now. And here he is. One of the biggest X Plus figures ever, in my opinion. Um, one of the top in the gigantic line too. Um, the X Plus Gigantic Series Shin Godzilla Standard Edition. It's a big massive figure, um, awesome thing. Pretty heavy um, compared to all the other ones. I think it is the heaviest of the Gigantics. Um, as far as the movie goes, of course, I like it. Some people, it's a love and hate movie, I think, in the Godzilla community. But, uh, it's, uh, I like the take they do with him and, uh, they, uh, and that he's morphing and stuff. It's pretty cool that he's, he, he's evolving, constantly evolving. I remember, I've said this before, but in one line in the movie, they said he could sprout wings and fly. And that would be just really crazy to see something like that. But uh, it's uh, really a unique film, and I like this design. It's probably the one Godzilla that we probably have the most X-plus figures for. Has to be. With all the default reels, 25 centimeter, 30 centimeter, two, two 30 centimeters. I, don't, I can't remember if Kamata-kun is 30 centimeter or not. All the default reels, the gigantic, and they're coming out with a frozen 25 centimeter um, version. So this Godzilla has to be the most produced version of any Godzilla by X Plus, in my opinion. But he's really awesome, though. The movie's good. I like the movie. I like the story of it. Um, he he's an aquatic creature that feeds off uh, nuclear waste that was dumped in the ocean. And uh, he grows and starts deforming into the first form, Kamata Kun, the second form. And then he finally evolves to this form here. And uh, he's a beast to behold in the film, and they really can't stop him. And they're trying to figure out a way to stop him. And they finally figure out that they can try to freeze him at least and stop him in that form. So they do manage to successfully do that at the end. The movie has the biggest cliffhanger I've ever seen with him standing frozen. And they said it would only last two weeks or a month or something. I forget exactly. I didn't rewatch the movie. I should have rewatched it before I was doing this. But I watched it probably at least four times. So, But it was just a big cliffhanger in the film. <laughs> it's really a, a big cliffhanger. And I, and uh, for one, at last I've heard, they are not going to continue that story. So, which is crazy to me considering the way the film ended as far as this figure goes <laughs> i call this the moat of x plus figures m-o-a-t is the mother of all tales the tail on this thing is freaking absurd 
it wind it, it, it's in an s shape to his left a backwards s shape to his left but it eats the top of a shelf it totally consumes these big plastic shelves from home depot it consumes the top of a shelf you can't get no other gigantic up there or nothing it just it, it consumes it and i don't try to shove any other figures i had the 30 centimeter up there once between his tail here but i just decided to keep him up there by himself so but the tail is a figure in its own on this thing i can't stress that enough it's it's huge it's it's big around it's it's it but his tail in the movie was very long and for foreboding so it kind of makes sense with this figure i think this figure does is a little bit stylized but that's not a bad thing it's a good thing um i i this is my favorite pose of all the x plus uh shins it's like he's spinning around to uh confront a military attack or something it's really cool but let's start with the tail of course you've got on the end there the classic head other head that shin godzilla has um it's uh translucent uh on there in that area too on this figure i do believe that red area i can see light through it from my light a little bit so but it's prominently red there it's got like skeletony bonish type deformations all over it um the little uh dorsal spikes are even up here on the very to the to the head and of course you've got the head the face that's on the tail and the creepy mouth and everything and it's all grayish in color as far as that goes with the red um areas uh filling in and of course like i said it's all bony and deformed and just weird very wicked looking um this godzilla reminds me of an overdone brisket that's been smoked too long <laughs> his skin is just horribly looks like it's horribly burned and he's been horribly deformed and um he rises out of the ocean to take wreak havoc on man but if you look at the sculpting of the skin on the tail it's all nicely done red and black the rick on this guy was the purple signifying his atomic black breath release and it also had an interchangeable head with the open mouth split mouth and everything but I decided to get this standard when I finally did get one. I didn't pre-order or nothing. I got it off eBay. It was not an insane price. It was, I forget, 700 maybe or something. I forget. It was right when it came out. So, but I'm happy with this one. I like this one. I like the closed mouth on this. It's pretty cool. Um, but like I said, this sculpting of the skin the burnt skin is what i'm going to call it because he looks like like i said a brisket that's been overcooked um really nicely done of course his spikes on his tail go pretty much from all the way up his tail there's three rows and it becomes more rows as it gets to his back um of course the dorsal plates on his back are pretty unique for a god a shin godzilla no other dorsal plates are really like these they're pretty uniform they're all got spikes sticking out on either side all the way up and um a lot of the other Godzillas, each one are uniquely shaped or even sometimes, but these all look pretty uniform as far as they're all pointing out, pointing out the points out to the side and everything. Of course, they're red deep on the inner and then black on the outer. This thing is predominantly red and black except for the eyes. Of course, his skin is just so, it looks so like he's been horribly burned and deformed. <laughs> I can't stress that enough. His legs look have hold all this his uh upper his lower torso is is up here by his arms his arms look really hideous looking like almost to the bone like burnt to the bone it's really crazy um but the skin's all really nicely uh charred <laughs> i guess you could say um of course this is a fat godzilla <laughs> you can see by his thunder thighs and everything he's got the big bulk down there big nice huge fat legs and thighs um, his feet are really nicely done four toes on the feet and then the toenails are the bonish color um, also he has these little white protruding spikes on his feet on like the top of his feet and stuff like he's growing more toenails or something it's just crazy wicked but the skin sculpting on the feet is nice and black and reddish and deformed and burnt looking like the rest of him 
his claws on his hands are of course his hands are classic they're turned up like this i remember when the movie was coming out people had an issue with him doing that but it doesn't bother me actually so maybe he's in so much pain he his arms are so burnt and deformed that he has to hold his hands like that who knows but um he's four claws four claws on his hands and the nails are pretty much the same color as the toenails the uh grayish bonish grayish collar um really nicely done of course up here on his chest he has the protruding uh chest plate uh breast plate that comes to a point it's classic for shin godzilla up here on his neck he has like these really red burnt areas that are uh, really highlighted very well on both sides of his neck very burnt looking <laughs> it just looks like he's been burned badly all over his body up here on his face of course he's a classic i mean to me this is i it's the scariest looking godzilla shin godzilla to me is the scariest looking godzilla when you look at him head on he just looks so face on he looks so ominous looking and scary looking and of course his face and sculpting of the skin and the burnt skin all over his face and head it's just x plus really did a good job on this thing um his eyes are straight up white with a little dot black pupil and they're looking down and out the side and it really reminds me of the original Godzilla. I think they took that from the 54 as far as the way his eyes are. They're, you know, on, on the side and they're looking down. So, um, and then you got his teeth. <laughs> his teeth are the most wicked, deformed looking things I've ever seen. They're all individually sculpted. They're all like a dark, almost brown color really um light brown really color yellowish brown but his teeth are just there's no uniform to them there's no pattern they stick out all sorts of ways they're in the mouth some of them are sticking out on the sides of the gums like he's growing more and more rows of teeth it's just crazy this thing but it is a very good well done figure like i said you can see light his mouth isn't all the way totally closed you can see through there and see all the definition and detailing of his teeth sculpting it's pretty cool um they did a good job head top of the head to the back of the head on his tail they did a good job on this big guy so i gotta commend x plus for that i do feel like he's got a little bit of stylization um because i don't think his hips and all that were this big and chunky in the film but to me, he's also kind of looks like he's scrunching a little bit in this pose. So maybe that's why it looks like that. But it's still a way, way cool figure. Also, he has a tail stand. That's what you want to call it. It's the worst tail stand I've ever seen. I can't never get it to stay under the tail. It's just a joke, in my opinion. I've been actually... the gigantic 64 he stands pretty well without his tail stand so i've been taking it and just propping it under here and it seems to hold the tail in bet in position better than this thing it, this is terrible um because the tail's so heavy they, they should have just did a big block final like the other tail stands but i just uh, improvised with the 64's tail stand all right that's this figure it's a great figure it's an excellent figure um we'll do some couple size comparisons here and uh we'll get to that uh right now all right everybody here is the gigantic shin with my favorite gigantic still to this day from x plus the gigantic 62 um still my favorite always gonna be my favorite um I think, unless they do like a 75, 74, 73, or 68, 71, 72, because those are my favorite suits. But right now, this is still my favorite Gigantic. Pretty much about the same height as far as tall. Um, really both bulky in the legs and hips, so. They look pretty good together, though. All right, we'll do one more uh, size comparison. Uh, let's do that right now. All right, everybody, here is the Burning Godzilla. Gigantic from X Plus, 1995 Godzilla. He's, a, he's actually a little bit taller than the Shin. Maybe by a half inch, quarter inch, but he is taller, though. 
as far as head wise so burning godzilla is uh probably my second favorite in the jump in the line i think shen's third the 89's fourth so that's my actual lineup um for favorites in that line i'm pretty sure i did a video on that and i think that was my ranking and i moved the 64 into the top five and took the 80 uh, 54 down a bit because it it does have a few issues but i still love it nonetheless but these here uh all these series is really great um love to see them delve into uh my next gigantic if i would pick one would be definitely a 70s uh gigantic i think 73 74 75 if i was going if i was picking that would be my pick um like we said in the stream last night since they're doing a gigantic mecha godzilla 74 what they x plus should just give us the godzilla to go with him so that would be cool all right i'll move on to some quick final thoughts on old shin here and let's do that right now all right everybody i'm back i didn't bring my spinner back for him um i couldn't put the size comparisons up here with that spinner so i just uh moved it back here so i'll just do the find my final thing here without it um this is a great figure i know uh x plus group member seth alexander hall was looking for one and i think he got screwed on one by a dude and that really sucks i hope seth you find one um because you will love this figure if you get it um it's really awesome um i prefer this one honestly over the the purple rick so just because most of the movie this is what he looked like but it was so awesome when he did the atomic breath one of the best the most vicious and destructive atomic breath i've seen from godzilla in my opinion is that movie so but i would suggest or recommend this figure to anyone that's especially a shin fan it's a great figure big heavy it's pretty heavy um the heaviest in the line in my opinion by far has to be this big old tail <laughs> It weighs into that but um i would definitely recommend this figure couldn't recommend it uh, more all right i will uh bring the camera closer for a, a close-up of this guy um i want to thank everyone that tunes in and supports me um if you have any comments comment below if you like the video go ahead and give it a like this is Phil the Kaiju King from my collection room in Greater Cincinnati, and I want to wish everyone a wonderful day.